Presenting, presenting you Aegis School, School of Cybersecurity, the, the best school for postgraduate program in cybersecurity in association, association with IBM. IBM. Ginny Rometty, CEO of IBM, IBM, said that cybercrime is the greatest threat to every company in the world. In the world. Per Forbes, cybersecurity job market is expected to grow to more than $170 billion in just four years. Cybersecurity spending to exceed $1 trillion. Unfilled cybersecurity jobs will reach $1.5 million by end of 2019. Cisco reports 6 million available cybersecurity jobs globally. Looking at the huge gap in skills for cybersecurity, he just launched Postgraduate Program, or PGP, in Cybersecurity in association with IBM. PGP Certification by IBM. Program taught by IBM cybersecurity experts and industry scholar gurus and top faculties. Launch your career in cybersecurity with EGIS School of Cybersecurity. Exposure to IBM Cybersecurity Lab and software. Add wings, wings to your career, career and, and explore today about postgraduate program in cybersecurity in association with IBM at www.aegis.edu.in. Write the artificial intelligent wave with postgraduate program in applied AI, machine learning, and deep learning by Aegis School of Data Science in association with IBM. This, this intensive, intensive hands-on hands program, program develops a necessary and unique set of skills for launching your successful career in the, the fastest-growing fastest fields of AI. AI. The, the program, program curriculum covers in depth artificial, artificial intelligence, Python, Python machine, machine learning, learning, natural, natural language, language processing, processing, cognitive, cognitive computing, computing, deep learning, learning Google, Google TensorFlow, TensorFlow speech, speech recognition, recognition, computer vision, and, and robotics. offers a wide range of electives, exposure to a wide range of technologies, tools, and software, work on live projects, program delivered by the best AI and data science faculties and IBM experts. After successful completion of the course, participants get postgraduate program or PGP certification from IBM. Different programs full-time, PGP, and applied AI, weekend executive PGP and applied AI, and weekend online PGP and applied AI, world-class cloud market management platform and mobile app. Our students work with top firms and startups. Explore today how ESIS can help you launch your career in AI.
Challenges and NVIDIA are joining hands today. How do we bring skills to India for data science? And more importantly, how people understand how to apply deep learning, which is a critical foundation, how India is going to transform itself, and it's really important. Welcome, Welcome to each School of Data, data Science, science the, the best school for postgraduate program in data science, business, business analytics, and big, and big data, in, in association with IBM, Industry, Industry Association with IBM, with AWS Educate, and NVIDIA DLI, UBTech. IBM, IBM has set up Business Analytics Lab. Lab. Final, Final certification is issued by IBM. IBM. Aegis facilitates scholarships, financial aid, and study loans available. We will work, work on live projects from the industry. Curriculum designed with the help of top data scientists and companies. Hands-on exposure to machine learning, stats, deep learning, NLP, Google TensorFlow, Spark, IBM Watson, AWS ML, and many more. Highly satisfies students with amazing reviews. Program, program delivered by IBM, IBM experts, experts and the best data scientists. Program, program follows globally acceptable North American credit structure. structure. Proud, Proud alumni working as data scientists with leading organizations. Participants, participants can get opportunities for internships and final job placement with leading organizations. Aegis organizes Aegis Brand Bell Awards, Aegis largest data science, data science Congress deep learning summit, meetups, meetups and, and leadership speaker, speaker series. series. Network, Network with the best data, data scientists and AI, AI experts from around the world. The world. Present, Present your projects to the world. World-class delivery infrastructure and cloud learning, learning management system. Three, Three delivery models, models full-time, executive, executive weekend classroom, and, and online, online live interactive. interactive. Add, Add wings to your career and explore today at www.aegis.edu.in. and NVIDIA are joining hands today. How do we bring skills to India for data science? And more importantly, how people understand how to apply deep learning, which is a critical foundation, how India is going to transform itself, and it's really important. Welcome to each School of Data Science. The best, the best school, school for postgraduate program in data science, science business, business analytics, analytics and, and big data, data. In, in association with IBM, Industry, Industry Association with IBM, with IBM AWS Educate, and NVIDIA DLI, UBTech. IBM, IBM has set up Business Analytics Lab. Lab. Final, Final certification is issued by IBM. IBM. Aegis facilitates scholarships, financial, financial aid, and study loans available. available. We will work, work on live projects, projects from, from the industry. industry. Curriculum designed with the help of top data scientists and companies. Hands-on exposure to machine learning, stats, deep learning, NLP, Google TensorFlow, Spark, IBM Watson, AWS ML, and many more. Highly satisfies students with amazing reviews. 
program, program delivered by IBM, IBM experts and the best data scientists. scientists. Program, program follows globally acceptable North, North American credit, credit structure. Proud, Proud alumni working as data scientists with leading organizations. organizations. Participants, participants can get opportunities for internships and final job placement, placement with leading organizations. organizations. Aegis organizes Aegis Brand Bell Awards, Aegis Largest Data Science Congress Deep Learning Summit, Meetups, and Leadership Speaker Series. Network, Network with, with the best data, data scientists and AI experts, and experts from, from around the world. world. Present, Present your projects to the world. world. World-class world delivery infrastructure and cloud learning, learning management system. Three, Three delivery models, models full-time, executive, executive weekend in classroom, and, and online, online live interactive. Add, Add wings to your career and explore today at www.aegis.edu.in. Presenting you, Aegis School, School of Cybersecurity, Cyber the best school for postgraduate program in cybersecurity in, in association with IBM. Ginny Rometty, CEO, CEO of IBM, says, says that cybercrime is the greatest threat to every company in the world. Per, per Forbes, cybersecurity, cybersecurity job market is expected to grow to more than $170 billion in just four years. Cybersecurity spending to exceed $1 trillion. Unfilled cybersecurity jobs will reach 1.5 million by end of 2019. Cisco reports 6 million available cybersecurity jobs globally. Okay, a very good evening to all of you who are attending this uh, uh, info session on uh, how Aegis and IBM will help you to launch your career into those disruptive and the, uh, the disruptive technologies, then the exponential technologies like data science, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, blockchain, and uh, your full stack development. So I'm Ritin, Ritin Joshi. So I'll just walk you through uh, that how these Aegis and IBM will help you to launch your career in those disruptive technologies. So a very warm welcome to all of you who are present here and who are watching us online live that particular session. Let's set up the agenda for today's uh, talk. So I'll be talking about who we are. We'll talk about the industry associations we have got. We'll talk about the programs offered a quick look. We talk about uh, uh, so a program highlights in detail the faculties, the center of innovation, career management center, live projects which are going on learning management system what we have got which is called M University we have got and the financial aid and the admission process at the end. If you guys are looking forward to make your career, if you want to uh, opt these uh, programs as a career option, how to go ahead and how to uh, apply to these programs. Quick about ages, who we are. So we started our journey in the year 2002 with the support of Bharti Airtel that was the same time when the same disruption was happening in the telecom market when the older technology is becoming obsolete and new one uh, like CDMA, uh, GSM, these all uh, CDMA technologies are coming up. So that at that moment, Aegis, uh, Bharti Airtel supported IIT Delhi and Aegis Mumbai, these were the two major collaborations that had happened at that moment, that time. And we have started Asia as one of the only program which is master's program in telecom management. Is still we are offering that particular program. Uh, so uh, this is from where the journey had started. Now, six years back, uh, we have joined hands with IBM. Uh, typically, I would say that we married with IBM six years back, and uh, we have established Ages and IBM. Uh, in collaboration with IBM, we have set up these Ages IBM Business Analytics, Cloud Computing, and Cybersecurity Labs in order to enhance the <coughs> uh, skills and the competencies of the individuals like you who are watching us live, and for those who wish to make their career into that uh, in those disruptive areas. It is a proud training partner with TSCC, which is a part uh, Telecom Sector Skill Council, which is a part of NSDC, under which we provide the skilled manpower for uh, the telecom sector. Over the past, if you can see, we have trained the uh, inst individuals for government of India, uh, of the big shot organizations, right? Uh, the MTNL is our infrastructure partner in Mumbai, where we conduct our program. Uh, so we do, at present, we offer this, these programs in three uh, cities altogether, three, three states altogether in Mumbai, Maharashtra, in Karnataka, Bangalore, and in Mumbai and Pune as well. 
Now, uh, the uh, we have initiated as, as you can see on the last uh, slide of this the, the last point, we have initiated Aegis Gramble Award which is one of the Asia's largest event we do host in order to re reward the innovation which are coming up in those two areas which is time and SMAC series. Time is for your telecom, internet, media, entertainment sector. SMAC is for your social, mobility, analytics and cloud. Also we have included uh, IoT and data science as well in those verticals. So we invite the nominations from the companies around the globe and we reward the innovations which are coming up on those disruptive areas and the new technologies. These are the associations we have got uh, with the top notch leaders across the globe. Uh, which is called the, we, we do have the academia and industry collaboration like AWS as you all are aware about I believe. So AWS is our premier partner, we have joined hands with us, uh, so with them and also uh, NVIDIA, you must be aware about NVIDIA, they are into graphic cards and GPUs also NVIDIA over the last few years they have become the leaders in AI and deep learning, they have joined hands with us for uh, delivering the courses in AI and deep learning. Uh, Ubitech, if you are aware about it, I will give you a brief on that. So Ubitech is Asia world largest, one of the largest organization in robotics and computer vision. They also join hands with us under which we, if you can come to our campus, you will find that uh, the Alexas, uh, the Lynx robot, what we have got. So we are training them just like Alexas you guys are aware about, uh, over voice recognition system, over pattern recognition, uh, speech recognition system, what we are building up and training those modules under that machines. And uh, IBM, as you all are aware, is our uh, partner and with IBM we offer these programs, what we have already talked about in the beginning. And uh, we have set up uh, these labs, which was unveiled by Ms. Milita Mio. These are the IBM Business Analytics, <coughs> Cloud Computing and Cyber Security Labs, which participants, they use it for, these are all virtual and cloud labs what we have got. So uh, which individuals, they use it for doing their in-class projects, consulting assignments, which enhance their overall learning as I, uh, I'll, I'll walk you through and uh, I'll give you a deeper dive into the programs what we offer then you'll come to know the, how these labs are actually helping the individuals. Uh, now this is what I have already talked about AWS, the entire uh, participants they will get the entire as AWS is our partner, they will get the entire access on AWS <coughs> course material on AI and ML deep learning. They will also, the participants will get additional lab access on AWS cloud labs. This is the collaboration we had with uh, NVIDIA, the, this is the joining ceremony as you can see. Uh, so this is the certification as you can see coming up on your screen right this website. So that would be jointly offered by NVIDIA and Aegis for AI and deep learning, uh, so which is globally accepted. Uh, these are the proprietary technologies and the software labs which uh, participants they will get the benefit. And the subject matter experts will come, the NVIDIA's experts they will come to deliver the sessions on AI and deep learning which is a core part of the course. Now these are the program currently we are offering which is, uh, there are three programs currently we are offering, which is a postgraduate program in data science, business analytics and big data, uh, PGP in applied AI, machine learning and deep learning and PGP and uh, in cyber security and these all programs are equivalent to MS in uh, those respective programs in the respective areas in which we offer these programs and these all programs we offer in association with IBM. I will be skipping those slides uh, quickly I'll, because it is an info session I am giving. Uh, okay. Okay, let's come to the program which is a postgraduate program in data science, business analytics and big data which we offer in association with IBM. So now this is the program we offer and uh, as I have mentioned this program is also equivalent to MS in data science. How come? If you can see on the screen there are two and it is a completely holistic applied data science program in which we are covering up all the three aspects that is data science, business analytics and big data all together. Uh, how come MS? So quick structure about the program, there are three modes of delivery, in fact two. One which is a full time program as you can see, another two modules comes under the executive mode of delivery under which we have one on campus delivery model uh, mode and another one which will be the <coughs> live interactive online Saturday Sunday sessions. So let's talk about the full time, full time would be a 6 days a week program at a stretch, duration will be 11 months and <coughs> after 11 months of training there will be internship and placements would be offered. I will be talking more about the placements part. <coughs> Then after 11 months of training, there will be 2 months of internship and placements would be offered, right? So now uh, the total program structure is a 45 credit unit. So here is a catch, we follow the Northern American credit structure based system and the pattern. So any program which is above then 36 credit unit as per the Northern American structure is considered as a uh, master's program. So this program is of 45 credit unit. Similarly, the executive model, uh, the program uh, duration will be the same. Only difference is in the executive model, the classes will be held on Saturday and Sunday. And the duration of this program will be the same after that we provide the internship and placements opportunities very much to the participants. 
and the program delivery structure will be the same that is of 45 credit unit program we offer. This is the certification we have been uh, we have received through IBM uh, since uh, for, for developing these skills and being a premier institution uh, in those disruptive areas. We started this program six years back and uh, when the world is not aware about data science and still we are following the same legacy. So these, this is the certification participants they will get one which is a program certification as you can see that is jointly offered and delivered by IBM and Aegis. Another certification will be offered by NVIDIA and Aegis which is globally accepted in AI and deep learning. Course curriculum what we are delivering the curriculum what we have got we have taken the input from the leading gigantic organization the giants in that industry in those disruptive areas few associations I have already talked about. So we have taken the input from the leading data scientists working with those uh, leads leaders in those the, those, those uh, disruptive areas and they, we have taken the inputs and we have designed the curriculum as per the uh, skills and the competencies of the data scientist. So this is the curriculum what we have got it has got the core courses and the elective I will quickly walk you through with it. If you want to get more deeper dive dive that what are the curriculum what sort of curriculum we are offering go to th through that link I have mentioned here. So you will get to know more information about the curriculum still I will walk you through. So we start the program from the very vital and the basic uh, backbone of any data science and analytics which is the statistics and probability then parallelly goes up to advanced statistics R language Python machine learning different types of machine learning we do teach the participants upon like uh, machine learning using R machine learning using Python machine learning using TensorFlow machine learning using Spark MLIV machine learning using Scala there are different types of machine learning for different types of data set in which we do provide the entire hand holding for the participants. Now uh, AI and deep learning as I have already mentioned we do have a tie up with NVIDIA that experts will come the deep learning experts will come and they will deliver the entire sessions on AI and deep learning which is a core part of the course NLP is there as a core part of the course. Uh, now visualization uh, is very much there as a core part of the course. Now since we offer this program with IBM there are certain IBM specific proprietary technologies which is widely being used by the industries globally in which IBM experts they come and they will deliver the entire hands on to the participants like Cognos BI, Infosphere Big Insight, IBM SPSS, Cognitive Computing by IBM, IBM Watson Analytics these are few IBM specific platforms in which we provide the entire hands on to the participants and then there are electives as well. There are bunch of electives available and participants they can choose four or five electives out of the electives which are available like SAS, uh, TableU, ClickSense, ClickView, uh, uh, electives like if anybody wants to get a deeper dive into deep learning one can choose neural network which is a core part of the course <coughs> then uh, social media analytics, web analytics uh, there are different uh, electives available participant they can choose four or five electives as per their area of interest and now since we know the world better the, uh, the project mentor the faculties they do the hand holding that which tool or which course will be more beneficial for the participants. Now let us come to the po uh, another program which is a post graduate program in cyber security. So why we have designed that program the seed uh, the origin is the data because the we are living in a digital universe now and that data has to be secured enough. As a result the way that data science is booming similarly the cyber security is picking up and booming in a big way. So that is why we have come up and initiated and joined hands with IBM and ruled out uh, the cyber security program which is MS in cyber security <coughs> complete <coughs> applied cyber security program we offer. So uh, why uh, applied and complete holistic because in which we are covering up all the layers of security starting from your uh, infrastructure security then your network security aspects we are very much covering starting from the scratch to advanced level then application security data security uh, above all the uh, uh, application security and then your your deploying that model the application to the cloud and cloud security is very much required we are very much covering up the cloud security aspects starting from scratch to advanced level and as a whole the cyber security. So this is how we offer this uh, cyber security program in which that is why I mentioned it is a completely holistic applied cyber security program. Du duration wise it is same what I have discussed with the data science program it is same 11 months two modes of delivery one is full time another one which is the uh, on campus and online and live interactive uh, mode of delivery and another one is the on campus weekend program. So there are two modes of delivery one which is a full time program and with the full time program as you can see duration is 11 month classes will be held 6 days a week and after 11 months of training there will be excellent internship and placements would be offered program structure would be 45 credit unit. Similarly in the executive mode of delivery the classes will be held on Saturday and Sunday full day it is a we do have a presence in Mumbai Pune and Bangalore where we execute our cyber security uh, weekend programs <coughs> in which the classes will be held for full day Saturday and Sunday. 
another mode of delivery that comes under the executive mode of delivery as well the places where we don't have any presence so that that live interactive uh, mode of delivery we are offering this live interactive model in uh, at present 18 countries around the globe so these are uh, a quick brief about the delivery mode of um, the uh, delivery model this is the certification participants they will get once they complete their program that is jointly offered and delivered by IBM and Aegis. Now coming to the course curriculum, it has again got the core courses and the elective. Like if you talk about the core courses part, we start the program like uh, this is what we are covering up like pen testing and vulnerability analysis. Python is very much there as a core part of the course because you have to create the smart softwares as well under cybersecurity. So Python is very much there. Curada, you might be aware about if you guys are working in, any of you are working in the cybersecurity vertical. So. Uh, uh, so QRR is widely being used globally, which is a core part of the course. Machine learning for cybersecurity because you have to create smart system, the automated system. You might be aware about in 2017, ransomware attack WannaCry that had happened. It has got the machine learning algorithm in every because nobody able to track the IPs, right? So that kind of machine learning is required to automate the entire process to create this uh, smart system which can predict the threats. Right, so the, the machine learning and cyber security is a very core part of the course. AWS crowd security, ethical hacking, uh, your digital forensics, uh, IBM Watson for cognitive uh, cyber security, applied cryptography. So it has again got the core course and the elective blend of both. So core courses are those which are compulsory and elective are those which you can pick up uh, four or five. If you want more information on that, I have put, uh, jot down the links here and uh, you can go through it and uh, you can get to know more information about the curriculum. Now, another model of the, the program what we, what, what we offer is postgraduate program in applied AI, machine learning and deep learning. This program again a holistic applied AI machine learning program. This is for some advanced individuals who are already working, uh, who are into the coding background, who are already working in machine learning, AI, uh, working with R and Python, hands on exposure on that and who wants to make their career into robotics and the advanced version of the applied AI machine learning, this program for those individuals. More holistic, more robust and more complicated program. Uh, these, these are the certification participants they will get once they complete their program from IBM. This is the program certification and also participants they will get additional certification by NVIDIA and Aegis. Curriculum, this is the, it has again got the core courses and the elective. <coughs> In the core courses part, we have foundation of AI, machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, TensorFlow, Python, cognitive computing, machine learning over AWS, speech recognition. But the holistic idea is we give them more exposure to the uh, practical side of it in which we create the smart systems, Scala, QuickSense, Recommender System, uh, deep learning with TensorFlow, Graph Database, SQL for Data Science, Internet of Things, W, uh, Pattern Recognition, Alexa Skills, Neural Network, Reinforcement enforcement Learning, R Language. This is all what we are covering up in this program. Now, two another courses we have launched, which is PGP in Blockchain. Uh, if you want to know more information about Blockchain, because uh, this is the another area like Bitcoin price prediction and uh, this is where the digital uh, currency what we are talking about, uh, blockchain. So this is where the future again is moving towards. Uh, there is huge scope, huge potential in that blockchain. So that's why we have initiated that blockchain program as well. Uh, can you please go to that, uh, click on that link. Okay, uh, let me oh, click here. Let me take you to the blockchain part. <coughs> okay. So now uh, I'll just quickly walk you through with it. So let me take you to the, so the program is commencing from 26th August 2019 and uh, the applications are open. And also I forgot to mention the data science program uh, uh, folks is starting from uh, 21st August. Full time program we are starting in Bangalore and Mumbai uh, and the, uh, the, the, the commencement date is 21st August. And the executive mode of delivery in the data science program we are commencing from 20th July to 0, 20th July. Applications are open if you wish to uh, apply for this program, do apply because today uh, till midnight it's the last uh, date for the second phase uh, application deadline which are open. Uh, then the interview would be scheduled, I will be walking you through in the another slides how to go ahead and apply for these programs. Okay. So now the blockchain program and cyber security, I have skipped that. So cyber security program we are starting from 21st. July applications are open, do apply. Okay, so now let me quickly take you through, take, take, walk you through with the, the curriculum part of blockchain. Okay, uh, I'm just giving you the handy exposure so that you can yourself can go and check that uh, curriculum. So this is how the curriculum looks like. It has got the core courses like Node.js, Ripple, Foundation of uh, Blockchain, Hyperledger, uh, Web Development Tools is there, Ethereum is very much there, Program Structure and Algorithm. Uh, so this is all, it's a holistic applied blockchain program, blockchain platforms, blockchain supply chain, foundation of blockchain, 
basics of Bitcoin, blockchain use cases, foundation of data science, uh, then your legal aspects in cryptocurrency, which is there, Python is very much there. Uh, machine learning also we are very much covering up in this program then applied cryptography big data application security there are different it has got again the core courses and the elective if you want to get more information you can check the website you will get to know more information can you go to the slide please okay and just take us through to the full stack development program please click on uh, the full stack okay So another, there is a huge requirement. If you just guys go and check in Nokri or uh, LinkedIn data, you will get to know that in India only, there are almost 15,000 jobs which are vacant <coughs> in full stack development. LinkedIn says like almost 7,000 to 8,000, I was reading an article. So um, uh, just checking out the jobs in LinkedIn. So, and the numbers would be more than that. Because the organization, they are looking forward to hire the individuals who can work in the client side and the server side and the database as well. So uh, the holistic individual is required who can execute the entire project. In this way, the, there is a huge scope, money is floating like anything on all those, these technologies, we can put these technologies into uh, the exponential technologies, which is booming like anything. So uh, if anybody wants to, anybody who wants to make their career into software development, any individuals who is a graduate in mechanical engineers, electronics and communication, eventually there is a scope in those areas, right? So if you wish to uh, get into the software vertical, you should look forward for joining these programs. Let me, so the highlights will be the same. The duration will be the same, it's 11 month program and uh, the classes will be held in the two modes of delivery, full time and the executive one and uh, uh, the 11 month program after that the placement and uh, internship would be offered. Uh, 15 projects we do offer in this program which is the real life projects exposure participants they will get in both blockchain and uh, the, uh, the, the uh, full stack development course. Let me take you through the curriculum part. Okay, so this is the curriculum. As you can see, like uh, it has got the core courses again, like jQuery, mean stack, <coughs> JavaScript, Hibernate, uh, then your Node.js, Flask, Docker, all these uh, technology which is required for the front end and the back end development, uh, Java, Bootstrap, C, CSS, HTML, Angular, uh, then your web development tools and methods. This is all, Caps and Projects are very core part of the course. So this is how you can install more, Python is very much there, MongoDB, NoSQL. Uh, so there are different uh, courses and the techniques what we do teach. It has again got the core course and the elective part in this program uh, in which we do provide the entire hands on and this is again an applied program because both the blockchain and uh, this uh, full stack development program we provide almost 15 real life projects to the participants which are as good as working for the real life organization. Uh, okay, Sony is asking, hello, what is the last day to apply for Kolkata interview? So Sony, uh, I believe you are listening, you are very much there following me. So uh, for Kolkata's interview, uh, our, see we are conducting the interviews for diff in different locations. Uh, Kolkata, we are, will be, will be in Kolkata on 23rd and today midnight, the, we are accepting the application for the second phase, application deadline is on. So you can apply today and you can uh, fill the application so that the interview will be scheduled. Yes. Okay, so for which program, Sony, you are looking forward to? Okay, you have completed B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering. I am not interested in Machine Learning, which field I should choose? Okay, so I have given you a brief about, uh, see, if you are from Computer Science background, uh, Sony, so I believe that you should look forward for the Data Science program, which is, uh, a holistic applied data science program we are covering up and the major USP of the program is the real life project. Can you take me to the slide, Adit? Okay, let me quickly walk you through with the, it has got uh, this thing so that I can make my phone handy for the demo. Yes. It has got uh, any desk, right? Okay, not now, not now. We will connect it afterwards. Please take me to the presentation. Okay. Okay, so there will be any third phase. <coughs> we cannot say anything, Sony, because applications are coming from all the nook and corner of India and globally we are accepting the applications. Uh, so it's a busy day for us. And uh, if you wish to apply, it's better. The, the faster you do, the better chance that you will get to know because seats are limited, right? So, <coughs> so faculty and mentors, the program is completely delivered by the best of the brains available uh, who are in the industry, building up the system, been there, done that. Uh, quickly, I'll walk, walk you through with the faculty profiles. 
like Dr. Vinay Kulkarni, who is the director of uh, AGES, he holds uh, dual degrees from IIT Bombay, PhD from IIT Bombay, takes care of the statistics per Hadoop and Spark part at AGES. Uh, Dr. Samshuddin, we have on board, uh, he has got more than, so Dr. Kul Vinay Kulkarni, uh, he has uh, more than 25 years of experience overall, academia and industry experience. Uh, Dr. Samshuddin has got more than 15 plus years of experience. He uh, holds dual degrees in PhD from IIT Bombay and Monash University, take care of machine learning part at ages. Dr. Sogada Mukherjee, he has the entire Watson wing of IBM and he, uh, so uh, Bhavik Gandhi we have on board. Uh, so he is the adjunct professor for machine learning. He is a data scientist, hold, uh, holds his PhD from University of uh, uh, Florida. And uh, he is the lead data scientist working with Shadi.com. Dr. Abhijit Gangopadhyay, he is uh, the dean of ages. He takes care of critical, critical thinking in HR analytics at ages. Uh, Dr. Abhijit Gangopadhyay is the founding dean of uh, IIM Indore and also the founding dean and director of TIS. Most of you would have heard about that institution that is uh, Tata Institute of Social Science. We have hired certain Russian data scientists as well and Ukrainian data scientists as well. Uh, like in this row, we have got uh, Dr. Tatiana on board. She is a Ukrainian data scientist, take care of the Spark part at ages. Dr. Sh Ms. Sharmila Das, <coughs> she is a strategy management consultant working for with IBM, takes care of the Infosphere Big Insight part at ages, and also the social uh, media analytics as well. So uh, I have put these uh, coordinates. If anybody, you guys are watching me live, please uh, take a snapshot of this uh, slide and you can go to www.muniversity.mobi slash ages uh, and you will see more details about the, in, the, the entire in-depth knowledge about the faculties who will be delivering the session. Now the center of innovation, uh, these are brilliant center of innovation we have got. We have curated these platform in this way. We have got data science congress, it's a three day conference. What we host, it's one of the Asia's largest event we host in which we do invite the CXOs, the CIOs, the real time data scientists, the cognitive computing experts around the globe. We invite the research papers around across the globe and uh, it's a platform in which the companies also they come who have done any breakthrough innovation in those disruptive and the exponential technologies they do come and present their presentation, the innovations what they have done and these are the platforms why I'm uh, uh, forcing on that slide because these are the platform which is an add-on for the participants because most of a recruiter they are coming to these platforms and they pick up the entire batch because we provide our participants these platforms to present the projects what they have done. I will be walking you through with the projects, what kind of projects we have done earlier and we are with the projects are going on. So on that basis companies they are hiring the individuals on these platforms as well apart from the career management center. Uh, so which courses have more scope in India data science or big data? Sony has a question. Okay, I'll be coming to that question as well. Let me complete that uh, quick presentation. So these are the platforms actually helping the individual. Similar way we have curated that Ages Gramble Award. So this is, the, and these are the initiative we have taken so that we can create the ecosystem. Hackathons, workshop, big data leadership series. We keep conducting like guys who are sitting here, listening me uh, on campus. <coughs> and the guys who are watching me live, uh, sitting around the globe. Uh, so do uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, subscribe to us on Facebook, we keep conducting certain hackathons, workshops, some of them are paid, some of them are uh, free of cost and you can please, uh, you can get a part of it and uh, you can get the entire hands on and get the exposure that what is happening in and around. Now coming to the career management center, so career management center plays a very important role uh, in order to provide the placements, right. So uh, these are the major recruiters who have mostly uh, the promising recruiters who always come and recruit the participants from us. Uh, like be it IBM since we offer this program with IBM, PwC, Accenture, Deloitte who is our knowledge partner, Persistent, Reliance, Retail, Teradata, HDFC, Mercedes and Ford they have also picked up the candidates in big, big number. Uh, Ernest & Young, e Clarks, Credit with the other there are many others. So I will give you quick stats, uh, current statistics and the previous year statistics. So let's talk an example, I'll give you uh, statistics about, because in a year, if I talk about the full time, we have got, we, we uh, commence two batches in a year. So one batch we typically host, uh, we, we, we roll out in the month of March or April, another batch we commence in the month of uh, September or October. So the September 2017 batch who have completed their program last year, we have around 54 candidates in that, on that batch. For them, 50 plus companies have come to recruit them. And as per best of my knowledge, the entire batch has been swiped out 
everybody has been placed. Minimum package for that batch it was 6.5, minimum I am talking for the fresher because we won't allow any company offer less than 6.5 on campus. Maximum that goes up to 12.5 uh, lakhs and the average package for that batch was around 8.5 to 9.1. And let, now let's talk about the last year batch, March batch. As I have mentioned we roll out two batches. So the statistics I have talked about this is for September 2017 batch completed last year September. Now let's talk about the March 2018 batch last year. So from that batch we have hardly five candidates are left I believe for the, uh, for the, for the placements, rest the entire batch is placed. And we maybe you guys are aware about the news or not. Uh, so if you go to the business standard we, it's flashing because Ray, jobs it, it's a <coughs> rain of the jobs which is happening right which is uh, powering. <coughs> so I'll tell you the statistics. Uh, for the current uh, which is happening, the current scenario, we, are, we have recently uh, done with the uh, campus drive. So we conduct in that way zero day one, day two. So typically it happens like in two days time, most of the candidates they uh, flooded out, I mean uh, they picked up by the companies. Third day, it, it happens so many times the companies go empty handed. So this time uh, almost 75 offers has been uh, given uh, to the individuals, uh, to the participants. Minimum package uh, we have what we have got is 6.5 maximum that goes as of now because placement season is on uh, 22 lakhs is the maximum and uh, the stipend we have again uh, made a breakthrough this time 1 lakh stipend for the internships has been offered to the candidates uh, fresh graduates uh, for the full time program and the executive as well because we provide the uh, assistance to both the programs whether it's executive or full time. And uh, this time average has reached up to 14.5 lakhs is the average package. So these are the statistics. Okay, so now, uh, so this is the statistics I have put for the last year. So this year's statistics, do check out or Google or maybe go to business standard, uh, the news are flashing. So this is, uh, that's why I said the jobs are raining, right? So it is happening. Now let's, I'll just walk you through with the journey of the individuals who are proud alumni. Always I feel proud to share their journey with you guys, the aspiring, the budding data scientist sitting to that side of uh, the camera or maybe sitting in front of me here on the classroom. So now uh, how this uh, transitions are happening. So I'll give you the fact, right? We started this program six years back when the world is not aware about data science, right? And uh, still we are following the same legacy. Till date, I proudly say that we have the largest number of alumni base working in the industry making us feel proud. So these are <coughs> some of the rock stars. If you want to know more, LinkedIn is the platform, go and check out LinkedIn, it's all transparent. Uh, Puneet Ratha, the time he joined uh, this gentleman, he has got around 2.5 years of experience I believe. Today he is working as a director, Morgan Stanley in data science, heads the entire data science vertical. Michelle Ribolo worked. She uh, is working with Nilsson. Uh, Pratesh Tiwari, uh, the time he joined, he has around 1, 1.5 years of experience, I believe. And currently, he leads the entire AI vertical in PNB MetLife. He's, and these folks, and these folks, they have done their BTEC from, uh, uh, you can see the college, uh, what they have mentioned, like Puneet, he has done in Rajasthan Institute of Technology. But again, it's a, uh, I feel proud to mention that these folks, because I have, I do conduct various talk shows as well with those guys. So these gentlemen, they are hiring the uh, young guns in their team from IITs as well. The IIT graduates, they are these folks, they are hiring them on their team. So it's another proud moment and they themselves will proclaim it, right? Because it's a matter of, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's a, they feel themselves proud and we also feel proud that this is happening. So you can check out the talks, what we have done with those guys, you get more information on that. Drubhajit Mukherjee, he uh, was electronics, he was from electronics background. He is working as a data scientist with Loginex now. Vigneshwar, he was a fresher at the time he joined, uh, comes from the instrumentation engineering, working as a data scientist with ENY. Uh, Abhishek Gupta, the third gentleman. Uh, so people would have a query, I mean, who are sitting here, who are watching us live. Uh, majority of you have that query because we keep conducting such sessions and this is the major question people do still ask me because people have a myth in their mind okay that they are from different background they are from commerce background economics background uh, so whether they are fit for that industry or not so these are the exceptions guys 
right anybody who uh, hails from economics background commerce background management background if anybody would have that much of logical reasoning capabilities if anybody would have studied mathematics means the statistics part of it is eligible to apply for this program abhishek gupta hails from the he has a become graduate the time he joined the program fresher guy fresh guy right currently he is working as a data scientist with farm easy aniket choudhury mechanical engineer right mechanical engineer think that okay that life uh, there is no scope but these folks who have not even seen any kind of disruption in the technology that guy is working with nsc as a data scientist and there are so many success stories that we is happening it had happened few days back and it is happening almost in every batch these are some of other examples so i'll be skipping those slides you can go and check uh, to our website you will get to know more information about the elemenis <coughs> So, student background. If anybody would have that question, which background they are coming from? Participants are coming from different background altogether, from mechanical, computer science, electronics, telecommunication, instrumentation, mechanical graduates, uh, manufacturing uh, industry. Individuals are coming from commerce background, economics background, statistics background, management background. Any individual is eligible to apply for this program. So, the parameters I have talked about, they should have these skills. What I have talked about, they should have that much of logical reasoning capabilities. They should have studied any kind of mathematics, any kind of means. Either they would have studied mathematics, even economics graduate, commerce graduate, they are eligible, and they are going out with the flying colors. Okay, so now these are the projects, and the projects is the major USP. Believe me, guys, uh, which is uh, and th these projects are actually giving the participants the entire hands-on. and you become industry ready right because working upon the projects is the complete life cycle you get into into the project development starting from the inception to execution it starts with collection of the data which is completely raw messed up data you have to first understand the problem statement if the problem statement is not clear you have to uh, cleanse that data first for cleaning you might be ap applying spark or hadoop this is what we do train the participants upon once the cleansing is done then you have some visibility about what your data is telling then you have to start building of the models depending upon your requirement maybe a predictive based modeling or a prescriptive based modeling right suppose for an example like flip card right so you might have search some product it gives a recommendation so that is a kind of recommendation system is a kind of automation which is happening you have to first build up the models like ola and uber you might have used in ola and uber application it prescribe the cap for you it predicts the cap for you that kind of predictive and prescriptive kind of based modeling you have to create that you can do by using r or python then once the model building get done you have to train your model and how will do that by applying machine learning or deep learning depending upon the requirement once you train your model then uh, the visualization will have a very important role you'll have to check that what your data is telling if you are talking to somebody who doesn't know the uh, maybe your project manager no not project manager but if you are uh, heading to some to your cto the cio if they wants to know that what you have done in the project or maybe your client they are only concerned about the visualization part because they don't they they don't understand the technology what you have built so visualization plays a very important role you have to put the visualization that visualization you can put you can do by using r or python but it's a clumsy process that's why w click sans click view there are so many tools are available once you put the visualization into your system then you have to put the entire model to the cloud deploy it and you you do feed your model with the real time data if you are getting a good accuracy good to go if not then re engineer the process so this entire show flow of the project process you have to work to go through and it's a very intensive process sounds easy but it's a very very uh, clumsy and complex process so the participants because the entire duration of the program what we offer uh, in the cyber security and the data science uh, we impose almost six real life projects like i have mentioned and these are the products not the project which you can touch and feel you can take these projects on your laptop and seeing is believing these are not kind of cut copy paste kind of project if you guys have done any kind of projects in your academia so these are not the academics projects right these are the real life projects and these projects are actually giving you the entire holistic idea the holistic exposure and you get your hands not only your hands you yourself get dirty with the technology right and this is what required this is what recruiters they are looking at they will be gauging on two parameters one the conceptual part why you have applied that algorithm on that model and on the basis of your knowledge about the tools the algorithms the conceptual part and the project part both things will work and how you will get the entire hands on on that because of these projects i'll quickly walk you through with some of the projects some projects like we have done like job recommender system as you can see the second project here 
so this is the project we are working with the UNDP United Nations so uh, brilliant project suppose if I tell you guys you have X number of skills and if you wish to know that uh, what are the companies in India who are hiring real time so it would be very tough you type some skills maybe you will be you will be uh, you will end uh, landed up onto some portals like Nokri or LinkedIn or maybe uh, some uh, indeed.com and might be these platforms will tell you the jobs uh, you will be uh, landed up to these job profile which has already been filled up right so but now the platform what we are building up in which you just have it, 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 and it would be live just like Google weather you have to just simply put your skills and uh, search this will give the entire statistics which are the areas where these skills are highly being in, hi, highly in demand uh, what are the uh, places like Bangalore Pune Mumbai Chennai Delhi uh, that kind of statistics you will get with the exact number how many jobs are available there uh, the packages as well and also you can apply directly with the real time basis to the companies who, are, who have got these uh, vacancies available so that kind of system we are building up right in order to uh, enhance the employability in India so now another project we have done with the leading uh, ISP as well which is a uh, there are so many projects and problem statements we are solving the major problem we have solved that some individuals were searching some suspicious activities in Maharashtra region and there are these ISPs they don't have any idea because uh, uh, nobody has got that much of skills and the caliber to identify because these IPs has got the machine learning based algorithm on that right they were changing their path it has got the AI compatibility. So now we have designed a system, uh, a prevention based system uh, based out of that uh, algorithm what we have designed so that we can track that uh, these suspicious activities are done by whom right because a human cannot identify these kind of the, the activities. Also currently we are doing some uh, churn prediction and uh, the network uh, uh, where, where, where are the areas where which, what are the, which are the major areas where the call drop would be likely to happen. So these kind of predictive based uh, modeling and projects we are building up. Uh, we have done major projects with uh, uh, leading telecom organization in India like uh, churn prediction how many customers will leave company A and B uh, 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 and also another project we have done which is uh, the call drop analysis project for them. Another project which we are working on there are many other projects like Koja project can you please connect me uh, to the any desk. So I will give you a project idea the overlook of it. So I'll walk you through with this project live. Huh? Just a moment. Yes, <coughs> do connect me with this. It's cool. It is. It is. It is visible. It's fine, no? Okay. All right, let me start. Accept. Okay, now you can see my phone. So these kind of uh, let me go through ages. As you can see, my phone is visible here. Uh, I believe you guys can see that phone. Okay. So this is called Project Kojo, right? The 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 the, the application pops popped up. Okay, let me go through that. Uh, take you through that Kojo project. So this project is all about let's find missing child. Uh, it's our very own project. Uh, government of Goa, they have signed an MOU for this project. Indian government, they are supporting us in, 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 in all the ways. Uh, Andhra government, they are likely to support us and in a big, big way. So how this project will work? The problem statement is very simple. If you find anybody begging on the street, so these are the structured crime, right? If you uh, would like to become a, uh, you know, the, uh, to save that person's life and want to help out that person, maybe your life will be in danger because these are all structured crimes. What do you have to do? Every phone has a good uh, camera nowadays. You simply have to pick up your phone and what do you have to do? You have to click the photograph of that person begging on the street or anybody if you found somebody missing. So I'm just clicking on here, capture missing child photo, okay. Now the back camera is open, I believe the screen as you guys can see. Okay, let me turn on the front facing camera for an example. Okay, this is me. So let me click my photograph. Okay. So my photograph is done. If I click on right here, the photograph will be uploaded and see what will happen. 
it immediately captured my geolocation right and it is showing me one proceed if i'll click here the photograph will be uploaded to the nearby ngo the police station right who are supporting us now go to the slide please <coughs> So now this is how the handy app, the project I have shown you. So that kind of projects we are building. So why I have shown you this project? Because this is close to our hand, uh, close to our heart. And uh, these are the products, right? So this is what you have to show to the interviewers who are coming and interviewing you. And that's a result, 22 lakhs, 1 lakh stipend. You might have not heard these uh, kind of packages. You might have heard these packages in IITs and IAMs, Ahmedabad and Bangalore, right? So this is companies they are offering because you are becoming go-getter, right? You have got that go-getter attitude that what you are building up because here not a single company will provide you any training. They need somebody who can put value addition on the table starting from day one. People do ask me that question, okay? Uh, I have got uh, that much years of experience, but I have a different experience altogether. I am from uh, uh, manufacturing background. I am from uh, uh, IT infrastructure vertical. I am not into coding, uh, I am a different, uh, I mean I am from BFSI vertical, so how the transition would have happened? Because in that industry, this is what people do ask me and you might have that questions as well. People ask me these questions, right? So whenever I uh, do communicate with those individuals like you in public or anywhere, so I keep getting such questions, right? Because people have still a myth in their mind that, uh, because if you go to any knockery or job portal, you will find. For any data science position, the companies they do mention they need somebody having two to three years of experience or one year experience in R, Python. Why they need that? Because they need somebody who can put value addition on the table starting from day one because nobody is going to give you any training. And this is how these projects are helping the individuals and these projects are making your industry ready. You don't have to run after the companies. Companies, they are coming and running after you, which is happening almost in, in every batch we have seen these kind of craziness. Okay, another project, uh, there are so many, uh, so almost six real life projects and one major capstone project we provide in cybersecurity and uh, the data science program we offer for uh, blockchain and uh, another program we launched that is uh, full stack development. We have 15 projects what we do pro offer in those programs. There are so many other projects which participants they have done, they are still doing like this project as you can see automated image to creative contextual description. Brilliant project, Nielsen picked up the entire batch. What they have done, these gentlemen who are working on that project, uh, they have simply, if you click the photograph, suppose I click my photograph here, a selfie, and I put it to the system. The system itself renders a beautiful poetry or maybe a story out of that image. That kind of image recognition system, what they have built up, right? So, uh, this is how the, the, the platforms what I have talked about, like Data Science Congress, the hackathons, this is how we get connected with the industry in a big, big way and participants, they get observed by the companies in this big manner. Okay, there are other projects like sports analytics for IPL, uh, robo advisor for one of the leading uh, retail organization, also we are working with that sort of some kind of project. There are so many stock price forecasting projects, there are so many, you can just check it out. Maybe you can take a snapshot and that video will be available, you can go through. Okay, now another uh, best thing about the program what we offer is the learning management system because suppose you are uh, getting more, a deeper dive, you are make, taking a deeper dive into deep learning, right? So, or maybe you are taking a deeper dive into R or Python, right? It sounds easy, it looks easy, but believe me, it's a very complex uh, subject, right? So, uh, one session is not enough. You won't be able to digest one session in one lecture. So here comes the learning management system, the MUNI campus. As you can see, you can download that application if you guys have your mobile phone with you. So you can uh, download that application from Play Store and other uh, uh, Play. The, the stores are available, and uh, you can log in yourself. Few of the courses are free of cost, and this is how the dashboard looks like. So you can take the entire program in your pocket wherever you go. You can access these sessions anytime, on the fly, on the go, through your mobile phone as well. That's why we call it easy to access on the fly, on the go. Can you please connect my phone again? I'll show you a quick demo how that application works. Okay. It's 
done. Okay, just a moment. Retry it. Okay, now it's connected, right? Okay, fine. So this is how again. Let me go through the M Uni. As you can see, that M Uni campus it uh, looks like this. You just simply have to click the application. I'm doing it on my phone. So this is how the dashboard looks like. My courses, explore new courses, live lectures if happening, you can have the access for the same events, placements, everything you will get to know handy on your phone. Suppose you want to go for the my courses part. Let me click on my course. So these are the courses as you can see on your screen is coming up because I'm doing it from my phone. Uh, so uh, let's go to the deep learning with TensorFlow, the second course. Okay. So this is how you will see the overview, the content will look like here and the Q&A, uh, let us talk about the content, you will see the entire content, whatever lecture we deliver, we record and upload it to the learning management system what we have. And these access will be with you 24-7 on the fly, on the go, right? you can access these sessions any n number of time. You will see the assignments, quizzes, this assignment, the quizzes, everything, instructor like Dr. Ashish Tandulkar, uh, he takes care of deep learning. Uh, so, he built the entire platform for Google in deep learning and AI engine he has built. Uh, more than 20 years of experience he has got, hails from the same IIT Bombay, uh, 12 degree from IIT Bombay and PhD from IIT Bombay. So, uh, he takes care of that subject. Suppose uh, you want to go through with this uh, session, what introduction to deep learning. So, every session we, what we deliver, we record and upload it to the learning, learning management system. So, this is how the video. ಸೊ so uh, you won't be getting a feel that these are the recorded kind of session because you have that interactive mode of recording we always do use this smart uh, studios what we have got so uh, take me to the slides please yeah so this is how the, i have just taken this snapshot i thought if the net and the any glitch will come uh, because of the technical issues i have taken the snapshot same thing this is i have already got take, taken you through okay now financial and bank loans for the matriculation student students who have scored pretty well this is these are the aids what we do provide to the participants if you feel that you fall under any category if you want to know more information take the snapshot of this uh, screen if you wish to apply 100 uh, 10% to 100% fee waiver would be there right so if you think that you fall under any category you will get the benefit and but you have to apply because interview is the last call because it's completely depending upon your interview and the panelist has the power that how much they would offer you from 10% to 100% if you wish to apply for this course if you feel that you scored pretty well in your 10th 12th and uh, graduation or ms or uh, masters program you may look forward for these options admission process quickly a overview if you guys are looking forward to apply for these courses do apply applications open till midnight today for the second uh, phase online applications uh, would be there you have to fill the online application once we receive the application your interview would be scheduled uh, we are conducting the interviews to tomorrow we are in bangalore 23rd we are in kolkata 30th we are conducting the interviews in mumbai right and there will be one more date in the first week of uh, july will be in bangalore i believe so uh, but bangalore tomorrow we are conducting the interviews and then if anybody get through and shortlisted we extend the admission offer on the spot right so how to go ahead so these uh, are the links you can follow maybe you can go to www.ages.edu.in or maybe you can take the snapshot you can go to www.muniversity.mobi/ages you will see the different programs here click on it click on the apply button uh, like this is the program for the data science so now once you click on any program mode you will find these uh, that uh, thing that page will pop up 
now you have to you can log in by using a Google, Facebook or LinkedIn credentials. Uh, you have to pay uh, application fees as well for data science it's 1500 bucks the application fees for cyber security it's 500 I believe and for uh, so this is how the applications are open do apply uh, so that the interview would be scheduled any questions so far guys okay so Sony is there I believe she is asking the questions which courses <coughs> okay Sony I believe you are still there okay let's come to your question you have asked which courses have more scope in India, data science or big data. So you are, you are confused between the terms, right? So if so, you are a computer science graduate. So if I ask you that in computer science, have you studied computer science or what you have studied? You certainly would have studied the different technologies, the different courses. Like you would have studied your database management, you would have studied your SQL, MySQL, you would have studied I believe, uh, you may have studied Java certainly and .NET, uh, C, C++ you might have started off. So this, these are the technologies, the infrastructure, the platforms you have studied right altogether, which comes under that ocean called computer science or information technology. Similarly, data science is an ocean or you can say it is a nuclei around which uh, there are different orbits. In these orbits, there are technologies are evolving in different orbits altogether. Let me take you through one slide. If I would have put that slide, your query would get resolved. Yeah. So, this is what I was talking. So, data science is, is, a, is a nuclei around which these technologies are there. And these are the acquired skills. Since you are from uh, computer science background, you certainly would have studied uh, the computational knowledge, the, right? the traditional software knowledge like Java you certainly would have studied, I am not asking that you have to be uh, brilliant in Java, but you have studied, you have that structure, how to code, right? you certainly would have studied SQL which is widely being used, in the, in this, right? so some traditional research, software, SQL, MySQL, RDBMS, so these are the technologies you already have studied. Right, you have a theoretical knowledge, I know because you have been through in the system, you are part of that system, right? So, whatever has been delivered to you, it is a theoretical. That is why I have walked you through with that entire presentation in which I have mentioned you the program we offer, it is a completely applied data science and cyber security programs. And the projects I have walked you through, these are the real life projects in which participants they work upon, and where the theoretical knowledge, whatever you have got, you have the basics. And we start everything from the scratch to advanced level. Another technology is like machine learning, it is a completely new technology, right? If somebody would say that I have been working in data science for the last uh, more than a decade, I would be looking at that guy with a kind of uh, you know curiosity or maybe a question mark will come on my head or in front of me because nobody can. These are the latest technology, right? Hardly data science, it has been uh, seven, seven, 7 years that uh, term is being tossed. Right? So now, another thing which is the statistics, maths you have studied, probability and sta statistics you certainly would have studied, uh, IT tools and languages like R, Python, Hadoop, Spark, this is what we are covering up, start from the scratch to advanced level. Right? So if you want to learn practical, this is a practical program. So we give the entire exposure on the conceptual part of it and major, major time participants they spend it in doing their in class projects and the real life projects. And these are not the projects I have showed you the demo, these are the products and you are going with the laptop in front of the interviewer, you are not going with a piece of paper or a degree what you have got in your hand because at the end it is just a piece of paper, you are going with something concrete in which you can play along, you can show that thing to the interviewer and on that basis again I repeat the milestone what we have achieved like maximum uh, stipend the companies they have given to the individuals and these individuals like, like, like you, 1 lakh stipend for the internships has been given, maximum package the placement drive is on, it is not done yet, till date we have achieved 75 offers has been given to the individuals, maximum package till date it is about 22 lakhs individuals like you have got, this time we have achieved the average package is around till date 14.5 lakhs. Go check the news, it is flashing everywhere, right? Business standard, go and check, they have captured it. 
So now these are the kind of power the program has got because of the curriculum, the powerful curriculum what we have got because of the experts who are delivering the session and the projects and also the connect what we have got in the industry, right? So any more questions would anybody would have? I would love to take the questions. Sony, do you have any questions? All right, so these are, this is my uh, coordinate. If anybody would have any questions, please uh, do call me up and uh, or maybe you can, I have jotted down my number of my team as well. Maybe you can call me, Manish, Yashashri, Apeksha, Donna. Uh, if you guys would have, guys would have already uh, spoken to these uh, guys, so it's fine. If not, take the number, call us. We'll be happy to help you. All right, a very uh, good evening again and the thank you for uh, your patient listening and being a nice audience, all the very best. Okay, now she had come up with some question. So can I know again, what is the difference between cyber security and data science? Okay, so Sony, these are, uh, you would say, they are uh, complement to each other, right? So now, uh, there is a correlation. The datafication that had started happening, I mean, the data explosion that had started happening, I'll give you the statistics how the cyber security is booming up, right? So this is your call, which one you would like to take, depending upon your area of interest. Let me take you to some statistics. Okay, now as if you can see the first picture, I have put the comments of Eric Smith, right? So he is the executive, he was the executive chairman of Google at the time he made that statement, uh, three years back I believe. So he have mentioned, not the statement is, this is the fact, since the dawn of civilization, when we have started collecting the data, till 2003, human civilization, they have generated close to uh, five hexabytes of data, right? And today, we have the capacity that we are generating that amount of data almost in every two days time. Data is the new oil, right? So what is in there in the data and who are the major contributors? This is the employment report which says like 37 percent new job roles will be there by 2022. A report by NASCOM and EY, Ernest and Young who are one of the prospective recruiter. 9 percent will be like non-existent job roles started happening. No more testers are required in the industry because it was the last resort for the individuals who have done, who are coming from the computer science background. Okay, if they are not getting into development, let's start their career with testing. But now things are getting automated now. Every piece of code you are writing, it has got the AI compatibility, right? So no more manual job is required. So now these are the major content. Now what is big data? You get confused in big data. So I was answering your question. The data science is an ocean under which or maybe a nuclei you would say in that way around which the, all the technologies are evolving new technologies are coming as well. The time we started this program, six years back, Hadoop was very high in demand, but now it's declining, right? Spark is picking up. Julia is on the way, it's also coming up in the way, right? So new technologies are coming up. R, two years back, it was very high in demand. Still R is being used, but now Python, everybody, every organization is running behind Python, very widely being used, one of the most hottest scale in that data science domain, right? So these are the technologies revolving and you should have the understanding of these technologies. And believe me, if you are good at the conceptual knowledge, whatever technology will come on your way, you would be able to adapt that because few things, the base will never ever going to change. Statistics was the same it is and it will be. Machine learning and, and, and deep learning, the base is the mathematics. Nobody ever going to change these algorithms. New technologies will come and these are coming up with those, the base is the same, mathematics. Machine learning never ever going to change. R, maybe you might have heard or not, a statistician they are using that R since 70s and that time it was S, then the latest version come, they have named it as R. Since 80s, the statistician they are using that R, it is now popular because you can pull the entire population to, the, to R. 
right? And the results, the accuracy will be very high. And it's very easy to learn, easier than your C, C++. Right? So now, the, what is big data? The name suggests the data which is big or another definition says like the data which is creating a disruption. Maybe that data would be of 10 GB or 1 GB. If that data is creating a kind of problem statement for your organization, you can classify that problem as a big data problem. These are the major contributors for the big data. Your social networking media, the slide sites. Right? Mobile devices, the call, the text, we are doing this meetup live, Sony, you are listening, you are watching us, you will have the access for the same presentation afterwards as well. This is the data what we are transmitting. Internet transactions every day, millions of transactions are happening. Banking transactions, right? we are ordering food, we are booking cabs, we are buying stuff through these e-commerce portals, the data. Every time whether you have closed your application but you are being traced your geolocation is turned on some of the application they are eating some data wherever you are going even your parents your best friend would not have that much of knowledge about you as google would be having where you are going how much time you are spending that particular location what you are searching in google what kind of person you are that kind of data network connected devices the IoT devices, right? So these are the major contributors. So that big data has been classified as four Vs: uh, velocity, volume, velocity, variety, and veracity. What is what do you mean by volume? The huge amount of data, five exabytes. That amount of data we are talking about. Variety, different types of data I have talked about. Facebook tweets whether good or bad people are uploading their videos on YouTube right these kind of disruptions are happening every thanks to Geo who has made uh, internet easy accessible to everybody right even 1 GB is not enough for a day that kind of generation we are that kind of environment we are in right so this is the variety of the data what we are generating velocity what, what do you mean by velocity the speed of data which is traveling and these are all the classifier, these, this is how we can classify big data. Velocity, what, what, what is the velocity? Speed, how do you differentiate that speed? How you define that speed, anybody? Sitting here, okay, speed. Speed means, I'll tell you, suppose you are in a driverless car, as you all are aware, the driverless car is no more a concept. Google and Tesla, they are already they have started, it's in pilot testing now. Suppose you are in a driverless car and a kid is passing by or come in front of the road. The car should stop at that moment. That kind of decision, the precisions, right, which is required at that moment, that kind of speed we are talking about. And humans, we sometimes, if such certain situation arises, so we are not giving that, taking that information from our brain. Your bone marrow gives you a signal and we immediately press the brake in a fraction of seconds. That kind of flash the light speed we are talking about and veracity means uncertainty you type you are working upon any project if you wish to uh, learn something new technology you search on google maybe a data science you will get tons of material which one you should go for which one you should rely for which one you should rely right so there should be some authenticity so that creates the entire idea the new technology has arises. Now, because of these technologies, the data science technologies, I have walked you through the hottest skills under data science, that is R, Python, machine learning, AI, deep learning, natural language processing, and there are many other, right? So these technologies have made it easy. Now you can analyze any kind of data, any kind of information, right? So this is how, Sony, I believe you are listening. So. Uh, we have classified the data science and big data. But now what is cyber security like you have mentioned in the cyber security, there is no existence of cyber security if there is no data. Though the security aspects are different, uh, as I have mentioned the cyber security what we offer the different types of security which was existed earlier as well like the uh, infrastructure security, the, the network security, networks what existed they are and they will be so this network security aspect. Now the data security aspect. 
which is which was earlier also but now the kind of data what we are talking it's different also which has got the uh, application security now the applications what we are talking is all application has got uh, the automation as well right the disruptive technologies the exponential technologies are coming up so that you have to build some smart systems even if you talk about the cyber security as a whole you have to create some smart system which when which can prevent the threats which can give you a signal that this that kind of threat it might happen in the near future and how you'll do that you have to build the softwares as well by using python by using machine learning you have to automate the entire process so sony i believe i answered your question right so this is your call which area which industry uh, you think that you should go for since you are from computer science background both the options are uh, open for you but this is your call what your gut will tell you in which area you feel that okay you should go forward and make your career both has immense opportunities is the most highly remunerating fields and the domains but you should have the right kind of skills certification will not help you maybe you will get a kind of though the certification has advantage because the certification what we offer it is globally accepted we offer this program with ibm but at the end when you are in front of the interviewer your skills that counts what you are talking and what you are showing what you have done on that basis companies will recruit you brilliant sony so i believe i answered your question anybody would have any questions here who are listening us uh, on campus who are there all right all right a very uh, it was great talking to you guys and uh, thank you for your patient listening and we'll keep conducting such uh, meetups do subscribe to our channel which is ages tv uh, spread the word and do connect us over uh, facebook we keep conducting various uh, hackathons workshops do connect with us so we will be keep giving you certain sessions in which you will be enriching with all those disruptive technologies all the very best pleasure talking to you guys thank you